Good morning, Sunday campers. I hope you had a great week. Today, we're going to be talking about Moses in the Old Testament and talking about his story and rather his call by God to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. And it goes like this. The story begins as Moses is shepherding his father-in-law's sheep, Jethro's sheep in the land of Midian. He is a witness to a burning bush on the Mount Horban. And when Moses approaches this bush, he hears the voice of God calling out to him to remove his sandals, for the place he approached was holy ground. God explains to Moses that he has a plan for him to save the Israelites from slavery in Egypt and lead them into the promised land of Canaan. Moses is doubtful in his ability to do this, and he asks God, Why have you chosen me? And even though you have, what should I tell them? Who should I tell them sent me? And God replied to Moses, saying that he should tell the Israelites that he sent him. God answers with the famous line of, I am who I am. This is what you will say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you to free you and to lead to you, lead you to the land of the promise of Canaan. Now, in this time, Moses is doubtful. He doesn't know that he can do it. And he asks God questions him, why me? And I think a lot of times each of us do that in our lives. God has a calling for each of us. And this was Moses' calling to lead the Israelites to the land of Cana, the promised land, and out of slavery in Egypt. And it's a beautiful calling. But even he himself doubted. But God reassured him, saying, I am. Go tell them that I am sent you. And he did. And he did lead the Israelites to freedom, leading them to Cana. And that's a beautiful thing. And so God has that opportunity for you too. Maybe not in the same way Moses did, but he has a calling on your life that is beautiful, powerful, and he is just waiting for you to say yes. So I hope this week, as you enter in your prayer time, they'd really ask God to show you what is the call in my life. And one of the ways you can discover that call is by some of the talents God's given you. He gives each of us certain talents and gifts and places us here at a specific time to work in those gifts to glorify him. So our activity today is pretty simple. It's Disney charades with a little bit of Marvel in there. So I'm going to ask you guys to cut up a few pieces of paper and write down some character names. And it kind of goes like this. So you're going to want to have a box or a bag or a bowl, whatever you have laying around. You're going to need sticky notes or a piece of paper and a marker. So write down some names and I'll pull one out here. So, cat. So I got Simba, like from The Lion King. So an example of acting up Simba might be roaring like a lion or getting really big like a lion. Kind of a fun example, but just to represent that. That was our calling, to be a lion, to be the new king of the jungle after his dad. So there's one example of that, but I hope you can take away from Rose's story is accepting that beautiful call God has given you and becoming the person you're meant to be. Have a great week, and I'll see you next Sunday.